Hey guys, in today's video I have a revisit to the Monstera. Uh, I know last time I said it was being burned. I thought what was happening is it was getting too much sun and drying out too quickly and as a result yellowing and browning the leaves which is partially what it was but it wasn't only because it was too much sun. Uh, if you can see over here to the right, we have half of the Monstera that I had to take off even further. So that's a total of six leaves that we took off uh, between both trimmings. It's about half of the plant. But it did continue to yellow. I was watering it. I tried to give it a little bit of fertilizer. Monsteras don't really care for too much fertilizer or they will turn yellow and burn in the leaves anyway. So it's kind of tricky. You kind of have to play it by ear. Uh, I initially had thought maybe it was time to repot but I've only had this in the pot for maybe four months so I figured you know it's, it can't be that bad well I tried sticking my finger in to see how much room the roots had to grow around in there and I couldn't get it in very far so I tried to flip the pot upside down the plant did not come out so I had to manhandle it a little and it was a little scary. I thought I was going to break it, destroy it. Uh, but let me see if I can get it out again. You can see right there that it is quite root bound. I mean, everywhere it's root bound. There's no avoiding that this thing needs to be repotted. On the bottom, you can see there are plenty of roots. Some pretty thick, almost as thick as your finger. And the aerial root that had gone in to look for some moisture even came back up because there was no room. That is one sign that there is no room in your pot if the aerial roots dive down and come right back up. Take an eye, uh, a look at it if you can. You can see in here I did lose a few roots because, well, maybe you can't. It's kind of dark. But there are a few roots that got stuck to the inside of the pot and broke off. Uh, that's why I initially didn't want to just flip it over and see if that was the case. I figured process of elimination and I guess I should have just went with my gut. You can see our new pot here has quite a drainage hole so we don't have to worry about it rotting. It is a terracotta uh, that has been finished but terracotta is better for something like a monstera that likes to dry out anyway because the porous nature of the clay will help wick out some moisture and keep it from staying too wet. Now, I have noticed that my cheaper soil, although it did have quite a bit of organic material and a lot of uh, sticks, which I thought would be nice for drainage and since I mainly collect philodendron, and all my, well, most of my plants like to dry out between waterings. I figured, hey, that's the best thing for me. But apparently, it's getting, staying a little too wet, and I have noticed a little bit of a gnat problem. So, uh, some people do use uh, some pellets for gnats or mosquitoes that control gnats as well. I've tried it. It only got mold on my plants, and there was something else I had to worry about. So... I honestly, yes, gnats are a little gross, they do bother, but it's a good little natural reminder to back off on watering. Once you see them, I mean, you know, you either got to make something up and pour it on there to kill them, or let them dry out and let things starve. It does sound cruel, but if it's the plant or the bug, that bug's out of here. So now we just take our Monstera and throw it in. Now you do want to have a couple inches uh, before you hit the rim of the pot because when you water, you don't want the water just pouring off like a waterfall. I mean, it might sound cool. It might uh, give you a couple other features that you didn't initially have, but that's not the purpose of planting, especially in a pot. You have to make sure you have an inch or two lip before you get to the root ball so you can hold some water in there and let it soak down. Uh, now you can see here it is a couple inches wider and I'd say about four inches deeper that I put some soil. So this should be good for at least another year. Uh, like I said, because it does have a bigger hole than what that did, 
Uh, we should be able to see the roots come out of this one, if not at the very least, to be able to see that there is a whole bunch of white root mass inside there because it is about the size of a half dollar. Uh, now all that's left here is to make sure we fill it in and water it in. Uh, I will be keeping a close eye on this because like I said I've already lost about half the plant. It's not a big deal because all those leaves were uh, part of the mother plant that I propagated from so you know it had to happen anyway. And to be honest they were kind of tattered. So uh, just keep an eye on your plant. I know pot it, flipping it out of the pot isn't the best thing, but sometimes it might be better than losing it. So pull it out. If it's okay, stick it back into the pot that it was in. If it's root bound like mine was, go an inch or two bigger in pot size. The only problem I see with this is it does have a little bit of a taper here on the top, so getting it out might be an issue, but it'll work for now. And if I have to, I could always propagate it and leave the mother in here or figure it out when it's a problem. Right now it's not. Uh, I think this will be a nice addition to it because it was kind of getting flimsy and when the Monstera gets big and it will get big it just takes some time. Uh, you don't want a light plastic pot like this especially without too much soil because they do get top heavy. I've had to rescue this one a couple times where I thought it was going to go over. So, uh, you do want to keep that in mind. A nice, heavy, chunky pot is good for a big growing plant. You got to anchor it somehow. Uh, hope this helps. And although it wasn't a sunburn, it was getting burned because it was drying out too fast. No matter how much water I put in this thing, it would immediately run out. That's another sign that there's no soil in there to soak up the water. So uh, just keep an eye on your plants. If you have any questions, send me questions in the comments. I do respond. And thank you for watching.